Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished the hold. It had a really weird ending. <laughs> uh, so we got two secrets to track down and solve. One here and one here. Let's find them. Aha, I think I found one. Clone potion goes here. Uh, this Beethro is going to have to move to survive. I could have put him at the very edge, whatever. And this has a convenient path back through this door. Which should open. And that's closed. Okay, cool. So I think it's just the one room that I was missing on this level. I figured it had to be a clone potion thing because I looked all around the outer perimeter and didn't see anything and Beethro refuses to go this way. There's a character in the way over here, which I can't see from here, but there, there is one. Uh, anyway, here's the spot. Rattlesnakes and hot tiles, and disarmed and briars. So is this kill rattlesnakes using hot tiles with a time limit? Is that what I'm seeing? Announcement, restricted area Delta II breached. Please evacuate prosthetic snake testing ground. Prosthetic snake, what's that? <laughs> Analyti an analytical report, 67Q, 23rd researcher. Whoever engineered the attachment point to the subject should be transferred to waste disposal. If the rattlers get too close, the tail drops off. What? <laughs> I fixed it so it regenerates after the rattlers move away. What? What are you telling me? So this will obviously release all the rattlesnakes. Oops. Oh, these are ortho squares. Yeah. Oh, it's this thing. This is why... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's this thing that's, um... That I saw in, uh... Yeah, that explains what, what this construct was. I saw this in... Uh... I forget what, what it was called. I saw it in a level. Okay, so this is gonna be extremely fiddly. What if I just cut a channel up here? This reminds me of, um... Something. I should really be hearing more sizzling at this point. There's not, not nearly enough sizzling going on here. Yeah, this is gonna be super fiddly. I can choose... I have the option of choosing a different... time for these. Would I want them all to come out at once? Probably. Um, approximately. Maybe not. Maybe I want as few out as possible. Do I have a time limit is what I'm wondering. Like, do these briars... Ugh. I want to corner some snakes. As soon as they're moving north around a surface like that, then, oh, this is really awkward. And it's on ortho squares, which means I don't get the usual advantage that Beether has over serpenty types. So you're going to continue north forever. I can partition you off, off here, but then I die. So I guess it would be best... All right, so here's a, here's a strategy. I'm going to partition this snake as quickly as possible in the bottom right corner. So what do I want to predict? I want you to go... Okay, so it's going to be... One, two, three, four, five... This is hard to predict, so I'm just going to pay attention only to that rattlesnake. I want this to be vertical, which it is. I go here, yes. Okay, so that kills you. Great, I cornered a thingy. If I can corner the... Oh, shoot, I cornered it wrong. <laughs> your, your tail needs to be over a... Uh, needs some space. Okay, so if I waited one... If I waited that many... How much space do you need for this, exactly? It sure would be nice if there were a checkpoint right here instead of there, because it, once I've stepped on that checkpoint, I've already committed to my, my chosen timing. And the timing for this is clearly very important. If I open that, you will come toward me. I'm one step ahead of where I was before. I might be able to make this work. I should be able to make this work. If that thing weren't there. But that thing is there. And then weird stuff happens. The, the Wubba snake gets cut off by the rattlesnakes. Oh boy. Yeah, so. In this super awkward context, let's learn to use a custom element. If I go one earlier. Now do... Some of the same stuff. I killed one. Good. 
So now I don't have my Wubba Snake anymore. I can get it back like this. Am I dead? Probably. Yeah, I seem to be. I can walk this way as much as I want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna die to that thing anyway, so I might as well pick another direction quickly. Let's see, if I go one more, you'll go south. This is unpleasant enough with unlimited undo. I don't really want to imagine it without. Perhaps there's some form of planning I could do to make this better. Hmm. I do have them all in a pretty good place here. This is this is not bad. This is actually quite excellent. Yeah, lots of stuff is dying. Please keep dying. Don't run out of wubbas. Mm -hmm. Everybody tends to go to the northeast corner. Makes sense. Of course they do. Yeah, okay. So I guess I mostly just had to get out of that initial... Dude, get off me. Dude, leave me alone. How do I get you to not be... There we go. Like that. Alright, if anybody finds their way in there, which they don't seem to be able to unless... No, that's not possible. Okay, so what do I need to do here? I need to encourage a snake to get into a corner, basically. Just, yeah, that's killed one. Excellent. This last one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Yes, I like this. I think. I, I, I'm wrong. What if I do this? Then I think I can make that happen. Ye oh, uh, keep going this way. Yeah, there we go. So now let's do that again. Or something similar. I don't understand the behavior of this thing when it gets cut by a serpent head. That's where it gets super weird. I haven't taken the time to stop and really look at what it does. I'm expecting this is an element that I will only ever have to deal with in this specific room. So I'm not worried too much about it. Alright, I'm just going to create one of these again. And get you in there. And I win. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a weird room. Okay, cool. Alright, next one is... Here somewhere. Is that going to be just as hard to see? Is it... Maybe it's in the same spot. That would actually make a lot of sense with the room template. Does this have a clone in it? No. And I wouldn't be able to get out that way anyway. So maybe it's like an equivalent thing. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get out that way. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me figure out what this is. I spotted a thing. Let's see if I can get there from this state. I have a bunch of guardians on me. Um, I forget how I dealt with this. It's been a while. This seems okay. Like, it's only monster kills that bring them to me. I'm gonna have to make a monster kill here, though. And I'm dead. Okay, so that doesn't work. What if I do this? Uh, what if I do that faster? Uh, can I? I think so. Not enough faster, though. What if I kill you down here instead? Then they won't be quite on me so much. And I have time. There we go. Alright, last room in the hold. It looks like a maze. With briars. How exciting. What happens if I just wait? That. Okay. So it cuts off... This doesn't look like much fun. This looks kind of like the opposite of fun. Ew. Is this lights out? This is lights out. Why would lights out be here? You know. Hey, there we go. I win. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's play lights out. Except, okay. Except it's a weird, awkward, different lights out. 
Uh, okay. Is this... Yeah, I can rescue the briar from, like, here. So I just need to make... Make a path that will allow it to grow in there. Evil, I woke up. That doesn't really matter much. Well, I mean, this path... Oh, it's not... Oh, okay. I don't know how to predict this, so I'm just going to do this and see what... Oh, that's what happens. So does that mean I need to come at this with more doors closed? Like, if I did that... No, Briar, even though it has... Hmm, the only way this is going to happen is if I... If I... If I open it from over here... Oh, well, that won't work either. So maybe I can't come around that way. What if I try from down here, then? No, I seem to be running into that same situation no matter what I do. Because I, I need to be able to run straight away, like this. That's the situation I needed to create. But I, I would rather create it up here. No, that didn't actually delete any progress I cared about, so that's fine. Okay, so all I need to do is come over here and do that, then get around somehow, like this or something. So then when I open... well, that's not, that's not what I wanted. So when I open... nothing, because I can't open it that way. Uh, what I'm trying to do is this. There we go, that's progress. That appears to be part of what I need. So I've put Briar there. Which means since these two have Briar on them, that door is permanently closed. Maybe I could open this and it would help, uh, but that's going to kill me. If I'm opening that, I need this already open so I can do that. Aha! I stepped off, Briar grew which meant good things for me. I think I have a problem, though, because that's just going to grow over here and close that permanently. And I can't directly solve that. What if I just fiddle around for a while? <laughs> kind of like I did in the other room. <laughs> uh, I think I can still make this work like I want it to. I do that. I run. I cage it. And yes, it will grow here, but it, then it cuts itself off. And I can... This pattern that I'm making here doesn't actually help me. It's just going to... It's just going to keep doing the same thing. So how do I, how do I make a, a, a turn? Yeah, I've, I, I did the exact same thing there that I did in the other place. So what I need... Maybe I want to avoid briaring that. And instead... Uh, come around like this with that... Like open those at the same time or something? Okay, so if that's open... Uh, then it's going to close when I do... Mm. What exactly happens if I do this? That stays closed because Briar grows on, on it directly. Uh, oh, this is awkward. So wait, if that were closed... If that were closed and then I did this, it does the exact same thing I've been doing this whole time. Yes, okay, so that's not a good pattern. Um, so if I do the opposite to them, opposite being, whoa, okay, don't step there. Opposite being like this, or like, um, like this. It has the exact same problem. No matter what I do, if I make a turn, 
it just cuts itself off. And that's unpreventable. So if that's unpreventable... Oh, wait. No, no. However, that has been useful. Because what that's done is it's given me a way to grow Briar up here. And if I'm growing Briar up there, yeah, if I can just connect it to this, then I'm done. Oops. Whoa, don't step there. Yeah, and in order to connect it to that, I just need to be able to run that way, I think. Uh, which I can't. So how do I make it so I can run to the north? I mean, isn't doesn't this cover that? Uh, no. Hmm. So if I don't run to the north, I can run the other way, can't I? So if I run the... Hmm. If I... If I run this way, then it catches me. Yeah, because it goes around the, the, the diagonal corner. I'd like to be able to run to the north without that being the way that it is. Uh, hmm. Can I come in from there? I need to do that to get through here, but I need I need something different. So a different approach. Means that, okay, so, ah! Okay, I think I know what my goal is right now. I'm gonna step on this, but I can't. So it means I need to step on that first. Okay, so I'm doing a shuffle in a small area. Uh, no, this is impossible. It's impossible with the setup I've made here, so... I see. I see what my constraints are. Okay, I understand how to operate on these briars. Let's start over. I get to start from any corner I want. Why don't I start from a closer one, then? So let's set up a... Actually, yeah, I wonder if I could just set up a, a road to the evil eyes that would get briared. I don't think I can. I don't think that's possible. So I'm just going to focus on briaring it up here. Let's just go as straight as possible. So if I go directly in there, that happens... That was already pressed. Oh, hey. A trick. Watch. I can let you grow... Oh, well, I could if I could, could have run to the north. Okay. I'm understanding. So if I can run to the north, that stays pressed. And it makes it in here, which is good enough, isn't it? Is that a solution? Not quite. Um, okay, so next step in my setup needs to be this, I think. If I let this grow where I'm standing, wait a moment. Uh, not quite. Let's see. Um, Wait, so that goes... Hold on, I can step here. Close that... Oh, well, that traps me. Mm, what if... Oh, no, that traps me again. Uh, so what if, I, what if I wasn't trapped when I stepped there? So I'll go all the way around. Without affecting the briar. And I want to close this door. It's hard to explain why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. But I think it will make sense. Ah! Not that part, though. Okay, so where was I? I open this. I step here. I flee to this. 
I want to step on that so I can run this way. I want to stay on that, I think. No, I need to... What if I step on this again? Uh, but then I can't run over there. Alright, so I'm running into the same problem I was having before. That doesn't solve it. I don't think I'm doing myself any favors by growing two columns of briar at once. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Like, maybe that's exactly the key to this puzzle. If I step on you again... Oh, that was the step I needed, wasn't it? I go here, I step on this, I step on this again, and then I, 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 I can't. Alright, so what specifically am I trying to do? This doesn't work because I cannot run perpendicular to the way the briar is growing and have it be on the pressure plate that I'm on. So I can't get away from this and have it continue growing north. So I probably want to bring it around here. Why would I want to do that, though? No, I think this is going to have to involve two of those growing at the same time, so I need to do some weird trickery with that. Okay, so it's so hard to predict, though, because it changes the state every time it grows over a thing, and I can I can change the way it grows over a thing with how Beethro steps on it. Now that definitely doesn't work. That has fully isolated this thing. And I'm in this awkward situation where I have to make this long journey all the way around here. Okay. And I don't want you to do that. What do I want you to do, though? So if I do this, have I done anything that just magically makes this better? I can close that, run over here. What are you going to do, Briar, if I just leave you to your own devices? You do that. Then you would do this and kill me. So I don't understand the final step I need here. How do I get this final step of having Briar grow to the north without me running away from it to the north? Like, I need to be able to step over here and have it keep growing. Ah, so what I need to do in that case is have it come around like this and be... Right, so I'm running away from it in this direction. It's coming toward me. Yeah, I got it. I know what to do. Okay. I don't know if I have enough room to do it, but I know what I want to do. That looks about like what I want, I think. Right, so I'm trying to get it to come up and around, up and and around. I'm going to run this way while this opens those and it will grow to the north. Maybe. Yeah! I did that again. Okay, so how do I do that from here? I want... I think I want... Th no, I can't have that. So I'm going to need this. Well, I can't have that. But if I go around again, what happens? This is getting a bit hard in my eyes. Uh, so if I do this, you continue through there. I close this. That grows up this way. I don't have a way to get onto... Mm. Yeah, and I have it growing from here. Okay, so that's no good. So maybe a better plan would be to bring it up here, which I can't do. Um, so a better plan would be not to have let this happen in the first place. Okay, once again, I only gained knowledge. I didn't actually make any puzzle progress. So resetting is not a, not a big deal. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm going to bring it up this column. That's my plan. To do that, I think I can do... Okay, 
So I've, I've spread it to those places. I'm going to close this, come at it from another angle, somehow, uh, somehow, open, run, close, uh, ooh, okay, so let's leave, leave, leave an opening there, open, run, close, leave opening, open, run, okay, that's it's going to trap itself... The, well, no, not exactly. I can do... That's not what I want, though. I'll let it continue. But now I can't open this door anymore. Does this help? No, that's just the same thing as... Okay, so my plan here is not good. What if I go further this way? Will that make a difference? It could. I think it does. Yeah, okay, so I'm trying to accomplish having Briar pursue me in th in that direction. Ah! <laughs> ah! Come around and do the. This is not at all what I was trying to have happen. But actually, isn't this like way simpler? No, no, it's not. I need. What about this? That might not be bad, actually. Yeah, like I came over one extra tile, but I don't think I need it. I think that was unnecessary. So all I've done is made a wall of briar. So let's maybe not do that. Okay. Still having trouble understanding the approach I need to take here. So... I'm going to close that door so I can run away. Go up here. Let it open this, but that cuts it off, doesn't it? Like, that accomplishes nothing. What I need... is something more like... Not that. Almost that. But not that. Hmm. No, I'm coming from the wrong side. I need to I need to do that, but from But I can't. Uh, uh. This is so awkward. Alright, so I have to do this. That's mandatory. So what are you doing right now, Briar? You're gonna grow there, which is fine. I have this open, which is kind of interesting. Ugh. What a mess. Okay. So basically the the main move that I've learned is that if I'm direct if I'm stepping on a pressure plate that will release briar, I need to have the one that's in the opposite direction of where the briar is growing open. So that's my my primary technique for survival here. So I have that here and this will go straight through and this is good. This is pretty much See, this is not exactly what I was after, is it? What I actually whoa. Huh. It grew there, then the door closed, so even though I don't see the briar that killed me, one still did kill me there. Okay, so I actually want to go this way from here. How do I do that? I do that by approaching from the east. Okay, I'll approach from the east. This is a fairly intuitive process, so again, I can't really explain why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. But it'll make sense, I think. So right, I'm trying to approach from the east. It's a little hard to do, but I did it. Why did I want to approach from this direction? What difference does that make? Ah, uh, it makes the difference that I can now do this. Yeah, okay. 
That doesn't seem good. Didn't I want it to come out here? Yeah, okay, so I actually wanted to, to grow this way. Go up here. So making a, making a tight coil like this is no good. Um, what I need is... Okay, I'm understanding. I need to grow it to the west. Growing it to the west here will allow some good things to happen. Yes, just like that. Perfect. So then, close this. Grow directly to the north without going to the sides. Yes, exactly like that. Now, same thing once again. Open that. I think I got this. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actively close it. And I still have enough room to get around. Now from here, I can bring it... What can I do? Why was this going to help me? So let's think about this carefully. I'm running to the east. I need to bring it just one over this way first. So to do that, I close this. Uh, and then I get in there somehow. That's, oh, that's a problem, isn't it? I certainly can't do that. I'm going to need to walk in from here and go this. Okay, so that has to be closed. Okay, I need I need to move from here to here via this route, okay? And I don't think there's anything else I need to prepare. Okay, so this is... At first, I was worried that I had to think way ahead, like several steps, prepare my, my pressure plates very carefully, but I think I can do this one single step at a time. Oh, shoot. Ah. <sighs> I can't get there. So maybe that's where I need to prepare multiple steps ahead of time. Uh, okay, so what if what if I went back to before I grew that and prepared these beforehand? So basically what I would do is come in here and do this. Uh-huh. That doesn't disrupt anything else, and now I'm here. Neat. Okay. Yes, and that grows through there, which is what I wanted. I cut it off. I can uncut it. And then still nothing. Well, let's keep going. There's no immediate limit to this. Oh, but there is. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, so before I do that... I need to have opened this door? Is that what I'm seeing? That's... Interesting. I can go here and die. I didn't die, but I didn't do anything useful. And right, so the problem is I want to be able to step on this again. But I need, I need these two doors to be in the opposite state as they are now. And I can't do that without stepping on this one, which would release that briar. So that seems like a problem. But can I just step on that and release that briar and be okay with it um, before I do this? Well, I can't do that. Okay. So let me... Oh, shoot. Okay. So don't don't touch. Don't touch. Whoa. Yeah, okay. So why did why did all this work as it did? I have this this series of closed doors along here. But I can do that. But I can't do this. That's why this is a problem. I've tried this before. It just leads to me dying. Well, not directly. I don't suppose there's some magic I can do with this that'll just make everything work. Doesn't seem probable. No. No. I've just made a mess of my... Okay. So... 
So let me get, I need to be crystal clear on exactly which doors I need to toggle here to make this shuffle work. So what's the first place where this doesn't work? This is all fine, this is all fine. The problem, yeah, okay, so I need to toggle this door and this door, the one directly south of that evil eye. I think I can do that even though this will grow, that'll still be fine. Okay, so I need to toggle this door and this door directly south of the, south of the eastern evil eye. And, okay, yeah, and I need to enter this that way. Okay. Okay. As long as I'm clear on my task. So I'm toggling this door and this door. And I'm going to do it like... Um, gonna do it like... Oh. Gonna have to do it like... Oh, what the heck? Alright, so also these two. Once... Oh, shoot. I can't get... Can I get around here? Yeah. So I'm trying to grow this. I can't. Not like that. Um, I need to enter from here. But I need this already set that way. Okay. So I can do that now. I'd rather this were the other way around, but I can't make that happen. Maybe that's not a problem. I think it's... No, it's not okay. No, nothing about that is okay. What if I only toggled this one? What were their states when I was... When I had this before? When was... Ex when exactly did that happen? <laughs> okay, so I'm coming in here... How? I do this. I go there. I step on that again. Oh, no, I don't. Ah! That's interesting and different. It's not what I want, though. Man, I lost, I lost my place. Okay, so I'm going to grow you this way. What I then want you to do is grow directly to there without changing anything. So, how did I do that? I do this, but before I do that, I need to prepare a path in here. Like that. Okay? Okay. Do I have the option of just toggling the... No, that would just trap me. No, it is specifically this door that I need to toggle, and that's really hard to do because of those briars there. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe I have the wrong approach here. If that's impossible... Unless there's something I'm missing here... Like, and I can just do this somehow? Possibly, because that does keep growing. Maybe I can do a circle if I close that door. Let you through. Let you grow into that position. Yes! I did it! Okay, I didn't need the extra step. Hoy. That was hard. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hold mastered! Yay, I did it. I didn't see a post mastery wall, so I think I'm done. All right, cool. Oi. <laughs> uh, so those two secrets. This had a weird custom element. I just kind of fiddled around and got lucky eventually. I didn't really have a chance to play with that before then, other than in this odd place where I didn't understand it at all. This was... Actually, as bad a time as it seemed like I had with that, I do think this is actually a pretty cool concept because... 
because of the the types of operations that I figured out I had to specifically do to get this to, to work it's just it's just kind of visually cluttered and that last little shuffle was kind of annoying I had a little bit of trouble predicting it but yeah this was this was cool <laughs> I I recognize that it's cool even though I didn't have a great time with it okay cool so that was <laughs> kind of an anticlimax but that's the end of entropy that was a neat hold right so what do I think of the hold overall um, I already gave my thoughts on the story uh, story was cool but structurally weird <laughs> just because like a thing happens and then the rest of it is just that thing playing out to its completion when everything is gone <laughs> which is okay it's just an unusual structure for a story uh, rooms rooms are super cool I kept having this thing happen on each level where I'd have this one like incredibly way harder room than all the rest but that was usually just to, due to me not getting a trick. Like, once I understood what I was doing here, the execution was fine. Just figuring out from what I saw at the start of the room to what the execution needed to be was an enormous task. Uh, this level... What was my tricky room here? This gave me a little bit of trouble, but I just didn't have the right insight. The hard room was... Ugh. Yeah, that was a mess. Uh, guardians. Guardians were uh, an element that was introduced here. They're good in some contexts. I enjoyed them in about maybe half of the rooms they showed up in. Uh, Dying of the Light. I had a real good time with this level. This was a very good one, as I recall. I'm also having a little trouble remembering it. It looks like it's very short. But yeah, short but good. The Nature of a Man. Interestingly different. Uh, yeah, had a good time with that ground beneath his feet. These were cool. Still a little unhappy about the four Wraithwings here, which uh, author has confirmed now were just meant as a distraction and nothing else. <laughs> this is why you don't put distractions in your drawed rooms sometimes. Like, it's, this is what can happen if you put distractions in your drawed rooms. Players, like me, will think that they're almost certainly a puzzle element because, okay, so my default assumption when I go into a drawed room is that every element that's there is there for a purpose. If you put an element there and it doesn't have a purpose, I'm going to try to do the puzzle with it, and that might cause me to have a bad time. Whether that's my issue or the author's issue is up for debate, I guess. <laughs> anyway, yeah, cool hold. I'm glad I played it. It was kind of more medium-sized than the, the small ones that I've been doing lately, and that's nice. Uh, I forget. I have a whole list of holds planned for... Yeah, I remember the name of the next hold I'm playing, but I don't know anything about it besides that and the recommendation that I've gotten, so I guess we'll find out what that is next time. I'll see you then.